Hello, Tyson Roberts coming to you from Deerhurst, England today. This has been a lifelong dream of mine to come to Deerhurst because it's the birthplace of my great 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 grandfather Levi Roberts. I've heard about it all my life of where my ancestors came from. Didn't know if I'd ever make it here. But right here I'm on the grounds of St. Mary's Church. St. Mary's Chapel in Deerhurst. Pretty awesome. Uh, we uh, visited a farm north of here about 20 minutes, half hour this morning. Spoke to a, a sheep farmer name of Adrian Steele. We told him that uh, we were heading this way. Wanted to visit the church and he said it was one of his, it's one of his favorite Anglo-Saxon churches in all of England because of the history around it. So inside the history says the church, they began building a church here in the year 700. Oh, 1100 years of history right here. So all around the church is a, a cemetery. And I found several Robertses from the 1800s into the 1900s. So when my uh, great-grandfather Levi left, sorry, when my great-great-great-grandfather Levi left near around uh, 1845, uh, it seems there were some Roberts that stuck around. Fun piece of history I learned recently. Levi lived just south of here in the town of Apperley. Whether you can see, I don't know, but there's a creek across that field. And similar uh, to that creek, when uh, Levi left Deerhurst, and uh, went to America. He landed on a, a spot called Kays Creek. This, the, the funny thing, or the interesting thing about that is he, Levi was a basket weaver by trade here in England. And the uh, Kays Creek in Kaysville, Utah, they grew black willows along there which was the preferred willow for his baskets. So also grew along here, I assume. So for the last couple days, me and my colleague, Matt Nicewander from Tennessee have been driving around England, just trying to stay alive on the wrong side of the road. And uh, we pulled down the road to Deerhurst and I could see St. Mary's Chapel coming up and I told him this is just surreal. It's something I've dreamed of all my life to be here. So amazing to, to feel the history uh, that my, uh, it's, it's woven through my family here. Anyway, there's the church, the cemetery, and all the history. One cool uh, part of history with St. Mary's Church that I learned this morning was uh, when I was talking to Adrian Steele, the sheep farmer from Pershore up the road. He said, uh, he told us how, how much he liked the church. He said that a, a Viking treaty was signed in this church. So it tells you the significance of the church in the area.